uh, the little girl on a bus in Jacksonville, Florida, in the deep south during racial tensions uh, and the experience that you had on that bus? Yeah, it, it's very memorable and it is a, a, obviously a chapter in my uh, in my book. Um, I, um, I went to a private school when I was a little girl and I was eight or nine years old at the time. And um, the school was a school for girls and it was across town from where I lived. So unless my dad took back, I could talk my dad into taking me to school, I rode the city bus. And, uh, and, and most of the students did. Uh, the day students, they had dormitory students too, but most of the students did ride the city bus. This particular day, I had gotten, it was after school, so 3 to 3.30 time frame, and I um, had gotten on the bus to uh, come home. And I would always have to transfer down, downtown. So you take one bus and go downtown and then transfer to another bus to go to my house. So I was on the first leg of that from the school. And um, I got on, on the bus and uh, there was a sign on the bus that we all remember back in that age. It said, white seat from front and colored seat from rear. Well, I got on the bus and the only seat that was available was that long bench seat behind the driver. So I sat there. Uh, a couple of stops later, uh, a man got on and to this little girl of eight or nine years old, he looked gigantic I, he may not have been, but that's how he looked to me, was white, um, fat, uh, and with a cheap seersucker suit on, as I remember. And he got on, put his money in the, in the coin uh, cluster and uh, looked around and then he didn't see another seat. So he came to me and said, you need to get up. Your time belongs in the back. And I said, no, I was here first. I'm not getting up. And he proceeded to, uh, to tell me no, that I needed to get up because he wanted that seat. And when I refused, and my heart was like pounding, as you can imagine. And uh, I have to give a little bit lay of the land. The bulk of the bus, or large part of the bus, were people of color that did domestic work and they were on their way home. So you could see a little bit of tension uh, uh, starting to mount by other people on the bus. And so the guy said, well, if you're not gonna get up, I'm just gonna sit on top of you. So he proceeds to turn around and starts to sit his rump down on this little eight or nine year old girl. And I had sharpened my pencils that day as I do in the afternoon for my homework that evening. And I had them in my hand. So when he started to sit down on me, I just set the pencils on my knee and he sat on the pencils.